Hello everyone, this is Tyson with the Miami Association Realtors bringing you the latest uh, tip uh, for type of association. So what we're going to go over is how to search by type of association and also how to add type of association to your grid. All right, to get started, you're going to go in the top left corner. You're going to hover your mouse over the word search. Then you'll go down to RE1, RE2, single family condo. Uh, before you add the fill type of association, you would, of course, make the applicable status that you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for active listings, you'll just click active here. Uh, from there, you'll select the type of property. For example, you could use single family or condo co-op villa townhouse. Uh, for this example, we'll go ahead and use condo co-op villa townhouse. Uh, under type of property, we will select condo. And then from there, you can add any specific detail that you're looking for, including maybe city or zip code to narrow down uh, your search. Uh, for this example, we'll go ahead and use uh, Pembroke Pines as an example. All right, let me go ahead and type that in. All right. And then from there, what you do is you go down to the bottom right here where it says additional fields. Uh, if you've never added a field before, it's going to simply just say add. If you have other fields that you've added in the past, it's going to say add and remove. So this link right here, we're going to give it a click. And then what you're going to do is under the search bar, you're going to type in type of, and then you'll have a list of options. The one that we're going to look at today is type of association located here under available fields. In order to add it as a search option, you'll need to click add here in the center. What that's going to do is add type of association as a selected field. Uh, from there, you'll click back once you add it, and then you'll notice it here on your list. My list is a little long, so let me go ahead and use Control F so we can pinpoint where it's located immediately. So right here we have type of association. Uh, we have condo, homeowners, none, other, voluntary available. You can make one selection or multiple using the alt key. Uh, for this example, we'll go ahead and use uh, type of association condo. And then from here, we're going to scroll back up. So right now, uh, telling the system we're looking for condo uh, properties in, located in Pembroke Pines, we have a total of 125 matches. You can, of course, use the uh, fields on the right, uh, right size, what you're looking for. For example, you can input your price range there, your total bedrooms and baths. For this ex example, we'll use uh, three bedrooms and then for baths we'll use uh, two or more as well so that brings it down to five matches uh, from here what we do is we click results so that we can see the uh, listings that are available so based on a type of association search uh, for a condo association uh, we have a total of uh, five matches uh, just want to also mention that you can cu customize your grid and include a uh, type of association as well how you could do that is You'll go up here to the top. I mean, you could do this in any of the categories. Uh, what you do is you hover your mouse over the open section in the field until it turns into a crosshair, and then you'll give it a click. And then from there, you'll go down here where it says insert column, and then you would simply type uh, type of association, which is located right here, and then click apply. All right, in this next example, what we will do is uh, search for single family. Uh, based on type of association in the grid. So we're not going to filter by type of association. We're just going to simply select the type of uh, property as being single family and then see the uh, type of associations in the grid. So we're going to go back over here where it says search. We're going to go down to RE1, RE2, single family condo. Give it a click. Uh, we're going to select single family under property uh, type. And then under type of property, we're going to select single family. We're going to stay in the area of Pembroke Pines as well uh, for this search. It's going to bring us to 112 matches. We're going to go ahead and go under total bedrooms, uh, three or more. Then under uh, full baths, we'll do the same thing, uh, two or more. That brings us to 108 matches. Uh, from here, we're going to click on results. And then we're going to add to the grid the type of association. All right which is located right here. We're going to apply it. Okay, so right now it's only giving us 25 results per page, but what you can do is go up here, uh, change it to 100, so that you only have to have two pages to look at. So you'll notice here, now it's telling us if there is a, a type of association. Uh, these top examples are showing homeowners, but if you scroll down, you'll see the ones that uh, do not have an association, such as this one, where it says none. 
Uh, you also have uh, further down one that states uh, voluntary as well. Uh, so that's how you can add to and customize your grid to include uh, type of associations. You can also filter uh, based on our first example by type of association. I do hope that you found this tip uh, helpful. Uh, you can find additional tips located on our YouTube channel by going to youtube.com slash Miami Trainers. I want to thank you for your time and for being a member.